Oh, well, you did it. Grit, determination. We're getting pied. We are getting pied. I mean, to be honest, I'm so impressed with you guys. In just four days, you raised over $15,000 for our PTA. Popcorn! Yes, by selling popcorn. Popcorn! <laughs> I just hope Mr. Ferraro and I get to pick out a good flavor of pie. I like pie. Well, it's March, and that is a great thing because warmer weather's on the way. We're going to be celebrating all the adult helpers in the building this week. We're going to be celebrating reading. And spring break is coming soon. Oh man, I can't wait for it all. But first, let's talk about celebrating all the adult helpers around the building. You have your classroom teacher, right? And you have your specials teacher, right? Well, you also have lots of other people that work really hard for you as well. They're called classified staff. And it is Classified Appreciation Week. Classified staff do things like help you during wind time, run the lunchroom, run the office, clean the building, and supervise at recess before and after school. There are so many people and so many jobs they do. You're going to see all the teachers wishing them well this week and trying to make them feel like the special people they are. Maybe you'll think of a fun way to make them feel special too. We're also going to celebrate reading. Of course, you have your read to ride logs that you're working on. Keep it up, you guys are doing great. But we'll also celebrate reading next week with Read Across America. And Mrs. Grove is planning some fun ways for us to do this. Can't wait. Well, with all the great things going on, I don't want to overlook the fact that there are hard things going on too. Doing hard things takes grit. They take perseverance. Do you remember talking about perseverance back in January? Well, we're going to talk a lot about it again this month. We know that a lot of kids feel like they can grow and get better at persevering. So we want to take some time to make sure you have all the skills you need to have grit. I got to wondering whether or not there are grown-ups in the building, we might all know, who have had to work on perseverance. Then I thought of just the right person to ask. Mr. B, is there anything that hasn't come naturally to you that, that, that really you had to work for? Oh man, let, let me tell you, there's, there's a lot because a lot doesn't come naturally to me. So I have to work hard. But one thing in my life that's always been a struggle, and I'm sure a lot of you students are going to relate to this, and that's honestly been math. Uh, math has always been hard for me. In school, it was a struggle. I had to work extra hard. I never got the best grades, like in middle school and high school. And the first time I went to college, honestly, I picked a degree in criminal justice because I didn't have to do math. Like, I think I had to take one class and got through it. But since then, that was a long time ago, 20 years ago, I've had to go back to college twice, uh, two other degrees, and they required math. And, and I tell you, every single time, I've had fear inside of me to even take the test because I, I know it's not something that comes easy. And this last degree that I'm working on, um, a master's in elementary education, um, I've had to take some math classes and every single time there's, there's a fear inside of me. And honestly, there's been times where I've wanted to give up or even let Mrs. Babcock do some of my work because it just makes me so afraid inside. But let me tell you, there's something that I always tell myself, and I have it tattooed right here. It says, hard work done well feels good. Now, part of what happens in our lives is we face things that are hard, and it could be things that come really easy to other people, and they're hard to us. But when we work really hard, I'm telling you, even we might not even get the best grades, we might not even pass, but when we work hard and have grit and try our very best, and when we do really well, the best that we can, when we give 100% effort, it feels really good and something happens inside. And so in my life, I've had to work really hard at things like math, 
but I'm telling you, it makes me feel good. And it makes me want to challenge and, and, and take on challenges and other things and not have that fear. And so I encourage all of you guys, hard work done well feels good. Persevere, have grit. When you're getting frustrated, when something's hard for you and you need a moment, what are some strategies for you that helps you kind of either, you know, take a break, reset your mind, uh, calm your body, that yeah. type of thing. What are strategies you use? You know, I'm just going to share one strategy. I think back to the things that I have um, done and persevered through and, and have conquered and, and had grit and got through. I think back to those times and that reminds me that I can, I can do it. Um, I also like to work out. So get outside and, and, and lift some weights, run around, play some basketball, play some golf. But I, I like to think back to what I did do and how I accomplished it. And that helps me remember I, I can do it. I can make it through it. Thank you for sharing, Mr. B. It's something for all of us to work on. I know I have to work on it every day. If you have more conversations about grit and perseverance in your class, take advantage and see how much more you can learn. Have a great day, dragons, and I will see you soon.